Kent Adams here with the special Pulse program today. Um, I'm going to learn a lot, and I may, may even learn some new words or something. But more important, we're going to talk about an alternate festival. You're calling it Alt Festival, though, right? Empire Alt. Okay, Empire Alt Festival. We're going to learn all about that next. The economy is getting stronger, banks are lending again, and interest rates are at historic lows. Now is a great time to buy your dream home. The caring and knowledgeable professionals at Homes for You have been helping people just like you for over 20 years. They take the time to listen to what you want and will help you find just the right home in Washington or Idaho. Real estate is what we do at Homes for You, 928-5782, or visit online at homes, the number four, youspokane.com. This is River Ridge Frame Shop called Frame It Today, where we can take your art, customize it, and get it ready to hang on the wall. here at River Ridge Hardware, 2803 West Garland. The world has changed a lot in 50 years, and Kimley Haygood has changed with it. We still provide our customers with the highest level of service, whether it's financing, construction management, property management and maintenance, leasing or sales, our team is here to help you make the best decisions with your real estate. Weather in the inland northwest can wear you down. And if your gutters are in poor condition or you do not have gutters, you could suffer damage that could cost a fortune to fix. Rain Man Seamless Rain Gutters has almost 30 years of professional experience in serving the Inland Northwest region and strives to ensure customer service that is second to none from the time you call to the end of the project. Well, welcome back. I've got a bunch of crazy people here, okay? And we're, one of them is sitting to my right the others are sitting across from me, and it's like, yeah, it's like, who's going to go crazy first? Me. There, uh, yeah. <laughs> we have a volunteer already. Already and, there. And, 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 is that is a that challenge? A, is that appropriate for him to be the crazy one first? <laughs> Usually. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Why you're asking me? I, I'm I'm psychotic. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you fit well in here. Okay. Hi, psychotic. Devin I'm Butler, Scott. you. You arranged this. It's your fault, isn't it? <laughs> well, What's to a, to a point. To a point. Um, Tell me about what we have here. You you've got a, a group of crazy people. I, I get that, <laughs> including a host is crazier. But um, you've got something special coming up. And let's talk about that. All right. Well, uh, give a little backstory. Uh, I was just out uh, hanging out in Coeur d'Alene one day, getting some food at a crickets. And my buddy and I were kind of talking about names for a festival. And eventually the Empire Alt Fest came up. I made like a little design on my Photoshop app. And after that, I reached there? out. There? You did that? Yeah, yeah. Just on my phone. You know, a little mobile, uh, free mobile. You kids. Work. You can do all those stuff on the phones. Yeah, I know. So Anything's weird. possible. World's in the palm of your hands. Yes. But uh, after that, I had reached out to those damn kids because I had played a show with them, with one of the bands that I actually used to play with uh, back in January of last year. And I just remember these guys being awesome, like the energy they brought to the stage, uh, the craziness, the intensity, it, yeah. it really just left an impression on me. And from that day, I thought, wow, I really want to play another show with them. Now, so, you called them these th this, these damn kids? Is that what you called them? Those damn kids. Those damn kids. Okay, kids. that's the name of the group. Yeah. It wasn't just people out th in the park or anything, right? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. no. Okay. I mean, okay. Very well could have been. But. So uh, l l let's hear from these damn, those damn kids. <laughs> um, what do you guys do? Um, 
I'm Maddie. I'm the lead singer, and I scream into a microphone and call it music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, uh, now, no one's ever admitted that, okay? <laughs> That's how it I is. Love it. When it's, you're in a punk band... Keep, keep that clip, <laughs> clip, okay? About noise, definitely. You just try to find the best noise that suits it, if that makes sense. Mm, but, okay. I mean, essentially, it started. It kind of just came from that, you know? I, I, I was in a band a while back ago that we kind of used the same name idea, and it came from my... My dad used to be a biker, you know, and so he had nice bikes in his garage. And, and one day, I guess we were just thrashing a little too hard to the bike, and he came home just, you know, on one, just those damn kids, this, and those damn kids, that. I, so I brought it up to Sky one day, and I was like, "Yo, I think this would be a really cool band name, you know." And he's mm -hmm. like, "Screw that, man! Screw it's a that. it's a band name." And I was like, "Okay, let's let's go with it. Let's see how it is." And you know, at first it was kind of one of those things where I was like, "Yeah, we could change it," but after a while, I realized how much of a pull that people jumped onto it. They it, it became so household that people would just kind of look at it and be like, "Those damn kids at it again." And it's kind it's kind of really funny that um, "at it again" also came from one of our first songs. So it's. It's really funny how the playoff words just kind of yeah. worked with each other. <laughs> That's great. So which damn kid is this? <laughs> well, this damn kid is called Sky. He makes a lot of noise on the guitar. <laughs> on the guitar, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes so you how, did you, how did you learn the guitar? How did I learn the guitar? Well, I was a kid who grew up listening to, you know, rock bands like Bon Jovi, Motley Crue, that old 80s stuff. And it inspired me. Yeah, I'd be like the eighties are so old, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> you realize uh, what you're talking to, right? No, I realized, man. <laughs> and it was a blueprint. It was a blueprint. <laughs> it made me realize I want to be that guy on stage, who's just rocking out yeah. and running around. And so I'd play air guitar, and I learned to, you know, just make sounds that sounded somewhat pleasant on the guitar. <laughs> and no one's kicked you out yet. No one's kicked me out yet. No, I, I'd like to think that I have a good foothold in this band, but that's subject to change. He's the yeah. only one that actually knows how to play guitar really well aside from Eli. So like, mm -hmm. <laughs> he says he just plays noise, but besides, he's a really good guitar well, player. I was here well, first. So far, they, so haven't, modest. they haven't tossed you out of our sixth floor window. <laughs> so <laughs> you're, you're safe. All right, For so now. what is your job in all of this, Devin? Well, I was, uh, I'm really just involved in uh, planning, co-promoting, kind of the, you know, behind the scenes business side, uh, okay, myself later. and their manager, Ian. Um, I, when I had the idea for this festival, I was actually playing in a couple local bands and, you know, okay. hoping to get them onto the show too, but unfortunately we're not playing together anymore. Oh, but that's a long story. That does, that does make it kind of awkward, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, that's, it's a long story for a different day, but, uh, you know, it allowed me to really focus on, you know, getting this festival planned and, you know, making sure everything was as high, high of a quality as possible. I, we've never done this before. Like, it was a spur of the moment idea, you know, that I had to reach out to these guys and everything just went, it happened so quick. Like it, this thing was fully on in like a week after, you know, I sent a message to their band page saying, like, Hey, I really, truly. yeah, it's like, I really dig you guys. Like you put on an awesome show last year. How about we do a music festival? And then I was put in touch with Ian and Things went from there. Yeah, yeah, like, like, from zero almost, to one hundred. Almost real right quick. off the bat, he was like, "You guys know anybody who like would who would want to do this?" And you know, we we were put on uh, a couple years ago by a band called Krusty Mustard, who's actually on it. And then um, right off the bat, you know, it was we started playing with the bands called Millions of Dead Cops and the Vibrators and stuff like that. So pretty high high up their bands from from England, and. Uh, Right off the bat, we were kind of giving stiff shoulders and really, really realized what it was like to how cutthroat everything was. Yeah. And one thing that stood out to us the hardest was, you know, Krusty Mustard has always just just been down to earth and ready to play with us whatever we want, you know. Nice. And so uh, about a couple months in, we started playing with a band called Board with Fire, and little we thought, you know, we thought they were huge. Just the way they were coming off, the way they were promoting, we just thought we thought they were, you know, everything. Little did we know we were their first show, and they, <laughs> they were putting us on, and we were like, "Yo, what? Like that's crazy!" And so, you know, we built a relationship with Take them. Take it and, and run it was, with it. Yeah, it was the yeah, same thing, and same with Rusted Hands, and you know, Devin's band. And it was it was really funny how he reached out because right off the bat we were like, "Yeah, we got a bunch of bands that we might want to jump on this," and you know, it kind of just started snowballing from there. And uh, from there, it also became a point of, you know, when he, he brought up the kidney cancer research, I was like, okay, now we got to make this something that's bigger than just, you know, 
a festival you, you know yeah. i want it i want it to it, it was never mm -hmm. about those damn kids after we jumped on it was mainly about let's find as many locals talent that nice. we could do and so like next year we're talking about wanting to do a third stage and hopefully you know add on more rappers and stuff because we've got a good hand of right. local and rappers right now we just want it to grow and snowball into something else to yeah. present we gotta start somewhere of yeah. spokane yeah. yeah and we're starting somewhere yeah and shouts out to our manager first off he got two bands from california that Oh, wow. jumped on it and that's cool. that's another thing we're gonna do too is you know a lot of us come from different states Devin and myself included so and our manager as well he's based out in Cali so we're kind of on this page of let's just promote as many local bands throughout all the scenes that we've grown up and make this just a strictly local you know right. if we get some big names that'd be sick but we're not looking for big names we're looking to put the locals on you know because they deserve it well and if nothing else having some fun yeah, and for real. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. That's really man. about. It's, it's we don't about go on stage like it's a job or something, you know. Yeah. We do no it because it's. For rock stars there's this. no room for <laughs> rock stars, dude. It's just be as you are and have a good time, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're psychotic, <laughs> by admission here. Yeah. So your job is to keep them in line, or is, yeah. or is He's that the a enforcer staff? for sure? Yeah, I guess they say I'm the enforcer, but I think I'm just a teddy bear. He is. He's the oh, biggest teddy inside, bear, but you don't want to mess with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I be figured that out right away. Okay? <laughs> you know, it's yeah. most important part of the band, right there. I mean, I'm a drummer. I'm saying bass. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He holds it together. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for real, for real. And he's a no he's a really good bassist. So you you basically cover for every all their mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, it's take, a tough job. I take full All right. Tell me about. Okay. Where is this going to be? Uh, Cruisers Bar and Grill up at uh, what Coeur d'Alene State Line? Yep, State Line. Okay, Line, okay. Line, so is this 18 and over, 21 and over? Uh, all ages. If you want to go to the bar, it's 21 plus, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So there's okay. two stages. There's a main stage but on the outside there's and yeah. outside. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Outside and indoor venue, and you know, uh, hopefully okay. If we do it so next year, it'll be the same thing. Co cost <laughs> is going to be how much? 20 bucks. 20 bucks, and that's uh, that's for 11 artists. Uh, like ten hours of music. Oh, I feel like you know. I feel like that's a you know pretty good price. Yeah, you know, we want to you know, make sure everyone's getting paid fairly, and right. you know, hopefully even be the people say like, "Wow, I've I've never made that before." Like, I I feel like receiving some form of payment in exchange for like a, a show that you put on. Like, I feel like that could really solidify the fact that you know playing music is something that yeah. you can do and that you can actually like. You, make, know, you can actually make a couple a, of dollars. It's a yeah. career. Yeah. If, yeah. You, if you can actually do it, you know, you can do it for a living because, you know, a lot of times people are, have to play for free or, hey, you know, here's a couple of drink tickets. You know, we don't want to do that. You know, we want to help inspire somebody, you know, inspire them to keep going and so, play more shows. So take what care, hours? What hours will this be? So the uh, the date, the, the, the doors are uh, set to open at two o'clock. Yep. I believe our first act goes on at two thirty. 30 okay and from 2 30 to 4 30 or 2 30 to 4 uh it'll be the bands on the inside okay then uh, around four o'clock we're, we're going to be moving to the outdoor stage okay and then we're going to be alternating so you know one of one band outside gets done five minutes later another band on the inside is uh, getting okay. done Okay. So we want to keep it as streamlined as possible right. and uh you know make sure there's not too much dead time Okay, so they can have food and drinks and everything else there as well. Yeah, yep. yes. right, right. That'll be fun. So yeah, what date again? Uh, August seventh, Saturday. Okay, mm -hmm. August. What was it again? August. 10th. What? Oh, my name. No, the oh. the tenth or the seventh. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, your, your mic wasn't too loud, and I didn't hear it <laughs> in my ear. And it's you're talking to an old person over here Fair who, who can't hear to start with. Okay. But, um, all right. So, can people get tickets in advance or anything? Yeah, they yes. can actually get tickets online, uh, eventbrite.com, okay. and they can access that through the Empire Alt Fest page. Okay. And we also have some flyers that okay. have a QR code on them, okay. and. Uh, those are posted downtown. They're like Easter eggs. So if go you out find, and find them, them, take a picture. Yeah, go out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And another thing I should mention uh, for your viewers of Spokane Talks, we do have a promo code on that website for the people watching this program today. And that Ooh. promo code is Empire. Oh, okay. E M P I R E. Twenty five percent off or twenty five percent off? I believe it's I believe it's twenty percent. Okay. Something like okay. that. Yeah. 
And I'm okay. pretty sure the promos are still going for most of the bands. I'm not yeah, entirely yeah. sure. And each band has a promo code, too. Okay. Get 25% off your tickets on that. Okay. You know? I also feel like I should bring this up. Uh, there's also a meet and greet and VIP that people were are buying into in, as well. And that actually starts at 1, I believe. Okay. So they'll, they'll get it. But all that's on the website. Yep. That's which welcome to today is where you can get most information. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah that's yeah. definitely. I mean, so we can drive people to the website. That's probably the best place to go. Definitely. And, and not try to remember it all. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, um, it's on, both on there too. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good cause. Good. Uh, I think we were talking about that before the show started. But, yeah, uh, mention it briefly, will you? Yeah, so... Um, we're going to donate half of the proceeds, you know, after everyone's paid and, you know, expenses are covered and stuff. We're right. going to donate half the proceeds to the Kidney Cancer Association. Uh, someone very close to all of us and okay. recently lost someone very close to themselves uh, no. okay. to kidney cancer. It was pretty sudden and, uh, well, good. It, yeah, it's, it's a horrible thing to have happen. And, uh, we just want to help out a good organization and, you know, use our, use our art for good. Good. That's yeah. great. All right. What's the name of the band again? Those, Those damn, damn kids, kids baby. Oh, <laughs> At it again. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the website is uh, those damn kids uh, dot wordpress dot com. Okay, and the w w website. And, for and then for uh, alt. for alt fest, we have uh, the best place to go is the Facebook page. I'd, okay. I'd say mm -hmm. um, there's a regular page and there's also an event page. Okay, and there's also a link to the alt fest website on there too. Okay, so I believe it's the uh, another one on WordPress. And uh, welcome. Everything is connected these days. If yeah, they can get to one exactly. spot, they can get to the other. Yep. So. Yep. Well, well, guys, I, you damn kids, uh, <laughs> good luck to you. Uh, I you. hope I hope you fill the place. I hope you raise a lot of money, not only for the artists, uh, but for the cause too. Mm, and that's absolutely. great that you stepped up to do that. That's that's important. Um, that you're helping a friend yeah. out and recognize a friend and colleague yeah, and all it's that. It's a cause that's bigger than us, you know? Yeah, so. it is. It is. And one more thing I thought I'd yes. mention is that we're going to try to do like a charity auction thing Ooh. with some like, you know, like some art. So have like a raffle, maybe okay. put like a bid on there and, uh, you know, just see what people put in and, yeah. you know, use, use that money for, uh, for good as well. So good. All right. Coming up on the 7th of August. Did I get that August. right? August That's right. Man. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's some hope for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Guys, Not us. The best, of, the best of luck to you, okay? Thank you, Absolutely. Ken. Make Thank some you. money. All Thank right. You. That's of right. Course. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Ask the host a question, recommend a guest, or check out any of our other programs on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or SpokaneTalksMedia.com. Sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Well-Dressed Walrus, and Homes for You.